What is happening, Magnesites? Are they finally hearing us? Are they finally... No, no, no. They've been hearing us. What they're feeling, though, is their pockets, their purses, their wallets, their stock. They are hearing movie reviews. They're feeling it all. So, Forbes Magazine <laughs> reports MCU is canceling Eternals 2, Captain Marvel 3, Ant-Man 4, as Disney gets risk-averse. <laughs> Disney has previously been thought to be scaling back the MCU, which has recently become overloaded with underperforming films in the theaters and vastly expensive shows on Disney+. Plus. Now we may be hearing what will that will look like in practice. Insider Daniel Richtman is reporting that Eternals 2 is no longer in development and other projects like a third Captain Marvel movie and a fourth Ant-Man. I like Ant-Man. I, I bought the first one. The second one was okay to me. The third one was terrible, but they could go back to doing good again. I would go see a fourth Ant-Man movie. I would reluctantly go see a third Captain Marvel movie. You ever see a dog when they're trying to walk it and it's like, planting his feet and he's like dragging across the rug or the street or the grass. That's what I would be going to see that. And Eternals 2, the same way. Same exact way. If you've been tracking Marvel hits and misses, these three specifically may not come back as a huge shock as something Marvel does not want to invest in from here. All performed poorly, relatively speaking, among critics and at the box office. These last three films in question. Eternals, 47% on Rotten Tomatoes. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, 46%. And the Marvels, 62%. Yeah. Uh, Eternals, 402 million worldwide. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, 476 million worldwide. And 206 million worldwide for the Marvels. By the way, a couple people tagged me and stuff where they were saying that Daredevil, Born Again, like there's they're trying to cast like four trans people for the series. First of all, to me that seems fake. It doesn't seem like it's real. There's no way, considering all the money that they're losing and considering that they trashed the whole first season to start over and write it over they fired everybody you're telling me they fired everybody because it wasn't woke enough i don't know i spoke to you earlier about the lgbtq community being so irritated because i'm the one that gets the comments and the emails and dms they are so irritated with being pandered to just like all other people are tired of getting pandered to it's ridiculous so I I doubt that that's true. I would hope it's a rumor. I mean, the, it, I, I just can't see Disney doing something that stupid after they have, it's shown, it, they have a major, major track record for woken stuff up and it failing. Why would you do it again? I mean, I know that doesn't sound... I mean, considering everything that's happening now between Iger and, you know, the, the, the takeover possibly and the stock dropping and, 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 and all the subscribers leaving and all the flop busters back to back to back to back between the movies and the series and you're going to do it again? I just, I just, I don't know if I believe that. You know what I'm saying? 
people are tired of being pandered to. All sexualities are tired of being pandered to. All ethnicities and races are tired of being pandered to. I, I just don't think they're going to do it. So anyway, I think the Marvels probably, the movie uh, is the movie alarm bell that set this off. While the $200 million secret invasion was probably the show alarm instead. Yeah, probably. As much as I think both Eternals and the Marvels were underrated, okay, I have to vehemently disagree with this person here, but we're both entitled to our opinions. Given their performance, I understand why sequels would not be pursued. However, haha, I don't think it's wise for Marvel to just ditch Brie Larson's Captain Marvel. I don't know if they're just ditching Captain Marvel. She may not want to come back. We all saw that interview, right? I'll try to find it and post the link to my reaction to her interview on that. And Kamala Khan should be given more to do, not less, given how she's great in the role. <laughs> Look, Kamala Khan, I like her. They're going to have to use her right, though. They're going to have to use her right. As for Ant-Man and the Wasp, they can show up as Avengers, I suppose. But Eternals is probably going to have to remain a uh, what-could-have-been situation. I would not expect to see them again. It's also important to consider that uh, what era Marvel is moving into here. They are about to kick off several extremely important properties from here, namely the Fantastic Four, and then later their X-Men in addition to keeping other heroes like Spider-Man and Captain America floating. So in the next, in that context, slotting in a fourth Ant-Man movie or Eternals 2, which would probably still cost several hundred millions each, seems ill-advised. Here's the problem. They destroyed all of these IPs by injecting stuff people did not want to see. If they did all the IPs correctly, or at least average, averagely well, they would have done as good or better than their first few phases. And we all know that that is true. Okay? We all know that that is true. Whenever I did reactions for Marvel's early phases, I got hundreds of thousands to millions of views for all of them. Once they started call it causing um, this separation between the fans and putting all this ESG stuff in and, 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 and foregoing the story, just throwing the story out just to press all these political, social issues, it was, it, it's, you know, my, my, the, you see in the comments too, they don't care. They don't care. They've alienated so much. It's, it's sad. We've seen this to some extent on Disney+, Plus, but perhaps not quite to the same lengths yet. She-Hulk does not appear to be getting a second season, and according to its star, Ms. Maslany, they blew their budget on it. Okay, so here's the thing. They could actually make all of these movies if they planned on doing them correct. That's what would make the movies. That's what would make them billion dollar movies again, or at least successful enough to, for them to justify it. So either, I can't even think. The fact of the matter is this, get back to basics, Disney, and you're gonna be just fine. This is a long time fan here. Okay, I, I don't I don't talk about you like other YouTubers you use. I'm YouTubers talk about you like whoa, like they yeah like if you were a person they wouldn't spit on you if you was on fire. I'm not like that. I'm willing to give you a chance to figure it out, but not much longer. Talk to WWE. I lost I left them a long time ago. I'm sure they don't care, and you might not care, and that's fine. But when we do it in droves, you will care. And so the WWE, they finally start to get themselves back on track. And I hope you do the same.
10 million subscribers. Woo!